Hello everyone, welcome back to day three of the WC, WUC, WUC, yes, WUC uh, seven day upload challenge. So I am, for new people to this, um, to this series, I guess, to this challenge. Hello, I am Jay. I am posting every day for seven days to follow a WUC um, daily upload challenge, which is basically me posting a video every single day for seven days straight. It is created by Sweet Sailor Sketches and some other art YouTubers. Everyone will be linked below um, who created this challenge and the prompt list as well because there is a prompt list I'm following to make art based off of that. So today's theme. Today's theme is design a swimsuit and I've actually been looking forward to this one since I saw Sweet Sailor Sketches do it and it's basically being able to design whatever swimsuit we want um, and I like wanted to go with a girl swimsuit just because I felt like there was more like or like woman swimsuit labeled as um, because I felt like there was more like I could do with it instead of just doing like pants and stuff I don't know the correct term uh, so I decided to do that and um, I was kind of confused on what I was going to do with this because I don't know I just I feel like a lot of just swimsuits are kind of stuck to one thing you know what I mean I'm like it's all kind of the same uh, so I had to kind of think about what I was going to do for this, but I had a, an idea in mind. I wanted to do just like a full body swimsuit, not a full body swimsuit, but like a one piece and then have it have like an opening together, but still being one piece and have it have like a stomach opening. Um, and then I thought that was kind of simple because I like have for sure saw, saw that before and that's why I thought, you know, that's why I thought it would be a good idea. So I decided to add like some stripes on the inside of it and I'll talk more about that later in. This video, like I do have a good amount of content for it, uh, but there's not much to talk about with it because it's kind of simple. So we will get into it. So I decided to go with my sketchbook diagonally so we could plan everything out. And I included a few different sketches. I included just like the stomach. I included a full bot, like the full body, half body. I included a back view and a front view, which was like my final piece with like arms inside. Um, no, arms included and stuff. Uh, the back view, I didn't really focus on that much, but we will get to that as well. So starting off with the normal like swimsuit view, just like drawing the swimsuit, um, no body attached to it or anything. I just wanted to get that design down there. And that was before I thought of the straps in the middle, which is coming later because we haven't gotten to that yet. So I went with a full swimsuit, a full body, one piece, not full body, a one piece swimsuit with the stomach opening. And I was um, thinking that it would be like a cute idea, kind of simple, but I liked it. And um, then like I moved on to a smaller piece just to see how it would like look and how high up it would go, like according to the thighs and stuff. Um, I kind of didn't really think about that that much. And uh, before I started on the final piece, I thought about doing a back view. So for this back view, I kind of wanted to do some like strap work because like swimsuit I currently have, the f like one piece one, wait, not my two pieces, but like my one piece one has some like straps in the back, um, you know, like connecting to the back part of the swimsuit. Um, so I thought that it would be cute to incorporate with this just to make it a little bit more interesting um, and overall like kind of add a little bit of spice to it even though in the final illustration I clarify it as a final illustration because I did line art and coloring for it um, but it's not really a final illustration I guess I don't know uh, I even though it wasn't showing the back in the final illustration I thought it would just be a cute idea to add down there and I'm gonna move on to the final illustration because even though we're only like four minutes in, there's not much to talk about this one. I just kind of had a one piece with an open stomach part and some nice like back st strands and stuff. But now if we get into the final piece, I can talk about like what I was thinking about that. I think we might be there now in the video, I'm not sure. So basically, um, I, let me think, okay, yeah. So I was doing like a, like a pose that I saw on Pinterest, like per usual, all my poses are always from Pinterest. And I tried to add like some arms and stuff just to have like more of a dynamic and more of a final because just drawing the swimsuit like I did for the first illustration just felt really boring to me. So I decided to, you know, I mix it up, do a more dynamic pose with arms and, you know, so I could have some more highlights and shadows. So I kind of made a little bit of a, like a twisted way to the left, I believe. 
and I decided then I'm going to add the straps. So for the swimsuit, I added three straps going diagonally, I think, from the top to the bottom, just like in the middle of the stomach area. Like, obviously, if this was a real swimsuit, I was thinking about this, they would have had to be like really tight and pulled because if they were loose, whenever like you would like bend down for example and stuff like that especially while you're swimming it would like come like it would kind of float up like the straps so they would have to be really tight and stuff and like st stuck back or whatever um just so that it would work well and i added those as well so i kind of wanted to do a dark skin I, like a dark skin female for this i am referencing off as a female um so because for the past like three characters I've drawn because I've drawn a drew two for day two and one for day one. Also both videos will be linked down below, like both of the previous WUCs, um, as well as like the playlist and more things I'll talk about after. Uh I keep moving things aside. Um basically for that, uh I drew two characters and then for the first one I drew one character. But uh all three characters that I've drawn so far in this challenge have been light skinned people and Two of them have been like really light skinned, and then one of them was like kind of tan light skinned. So I decided to go with a brown skin. Uh, I I think I'm pretty good at drawing brown skinned people. I don't know, but I just kind of need more practice because I just I don't know. I don't often do it because um, I'm still just experimenting and stuff with color schemes. So I decided to do that. And for people with dark skin or people with even remotely like dark skin, I literally love the color yellow on them. It's just so beautiful. I don't really have that. Like that dark skin i guess i just have like tan skin you know like naturally tan like if you were to get like a light tan um but even then yellow i really like how it looks against my skin tone because like i'm not like pale but i'm like, kind of tan so i you know it kind of also works with my skin tone but yellow just looks so pretty and with this i'm, I'm not sure what color it is e not 11 13 i'm not sure anyway for the copper color I thought that a yellow would go super nice, so I added some highlight with the tea rose, the pink um, of my Copic markers, and I used that for some like pink shadows, pink highlights, like just pink blush on on the elbows, a little bit of the hands, a little bit of like shadows where the swimsuits at the like the u the u neck. Yeah, at the top, like some pink there, and just shaded it so it would look all cute and blushy. Um, and then on top of that, I went with a copper skin tone. Uh, and then I, and then on top of that, I think I did the shadows after that. Um, the skin shadows, I think I did it right after I finished the skin. And then I moved on to, and then I moved on to coloring the swimsuit. Um, so I used a yellow uh, Ohuhu marker, and then I used a darker yellow for shadows. I love them two together. The darker yellow is kind of like a mustardy, and I did talk about this in day two because I also use this dark yellow for shadows, um, but I really like love it against the light yellow. They're like perfect shadows for each other and stuff, so I decided to use that as well. So for the straps, I decided to add a little bit of more of like a highlight as well. So for the straps, like basically it was like yellow straps, and then behind that was like obviously the skin because it was the stomach. Um, and that's pretty much it. I didn't add a face to it and stuff like that, so it wasn't really complex in that way. But I did really enjoy doing it, and I love how the yellow turned out and the contrast between the two. And just in general, I love how the swimsuit design turned out. I probably would wear it, and especially in yellow color, it's kind of cute. Um, but I was thinking, like, maybe, yeah, like a brightish yellow, but also, like, kind of, like, not a light, light yellow, where it's like an eye strain, where it's almost white, but more of, like, a darkish yellow but still bright yeah i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce like how to pronounce it <laughs> how to describe it maybe like a light mustard i don't know anyway i think that it's a really cute color and i like genuinely think that i really probably would, would wear it if it was a thing um and i really enjoyed drawing it i really enjoyed how the color scheme turned out and that's practically it for it so i hope you guys enjoyed 
day three i will see you guys tomorrow for day four and i also want to say a few things down below will be the prompt list if you want to try you don't have to post for it but there's a prompt list everyone who created this challenge the playlist to the first two days and a link links to the first two days of this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm going to show like a quick overview of the page again at the end of this video so stay tuned for that it'll be in like 10 seconds and i hope you guys enjoyed so thank you so much for joining in for day three and i hope to see you in day four bye